The project shown in this video can be found in the textbook Technical Drawing 101 with AutoCAD available from SDC Publications. In this video I'm going to show you how you can easily hatch the front porch and the side deck when you're working on the final cabin project in our class. The first thing that I want to do is go ahead and set my porch layer current. And now what I'd like to do is um, come through here and just isolate some layers. So we definitely want to see the porch, but we don't need to see all of the electrical and everything like that. So what I'm going to come through and do is this really cool command called Layer Isolate. So I'm going to start that command. When it first starts, I'm going to, I just did my down arrow to get to the settings option. You could have also typed S since S is the capital letter down here at the command line. You could also just click on the word settings at the command line. By default, it's going to say lock and fade. I like to turn my layer isolate to off. And what that's going to do is as I isolate my layers, um, everything that I don't want to see is going to turn off instead of just locking and fading into the background. It's going to pop up and ask me one more thing. We'll just go with the default VP freeze. And what I'm going to do now is click on the layers that I want to keep. So I'm going to keep my windows, keep my text, keep this leader, and I'm going to keep that viewport, or I'm sorry, that floor plan layer. I'm going to press enter. And you can see everything else has kind of gone away. What I'm going to do now is set my porch layer current. and it tells me that the porch layer got turned off when I isolated, so that's fine. We'll just turn it back on. Now what I'm going to do is the hatch command. So I'm going to come over here to hatch. You could also do H, enter. And normally when we do a hatch, we select from these predefined patterns that AutoCAD gives us. But for this particular case, I'm going to come down, I'm going to pull down where it says pattern. Right when I click on the word pattern, I get an option, a pull down option for user defined. What's cool about user defined is that you get to tell it the spacing that you want so we can make up our own hatch. Now deck boards are two inches or they're two by sixes which means they're not actually two inches by six inches. They're an inch and a half by five and a half inches. So I'm going to go ahead and type in five and a half here. You could also type in six to represent a six inch board. And then you can type in your own angle. So I'm going to leave it at, um, at a zero angle. And when I come in here, I'm just going to click anywhere inside of the porch area. And I left my notes and, and text and this 8 inch diameter dimension. I left that all on here because whenever I make that hatch, close hatch creation, you can see how it kind of went around that text. So this is a lot better than having to go in there and like maybe offset a line or do an array where you're going to have to come back and trim it it recognizes all of that text as a boundary that it's supposed to go around. We're going to do the same thing for this deck over here. I'm going to click on the hatch. I'm going to leave it at five and a half, but this time I'm going to set it to be at a 90 degree angle. So I'm going to click inside. Oh, I couldn't find a closed boundary. And the reason for that is I'm going to press escape. I have a little gap right here where my door was. So if I do the join command, J enter is the join command too. I just brought that together so it closed it up. Now my hat should work. Fingers crossed 90 degrees. I'm going to click inside and there we go. So it found the word 6x4 deck and it hatched all around it. I'm going to close the hatch creation and now when I come back in here I can do since I used the layer isolate option before I can say layer unisolate and it just goes and turns everything back on. And so you notice my door is there and it's okay that we hatched around that door and uh, my electrical, everything else turned back on. So that's it. We just built those porches and we used a custom hatch pattern, user-defined hatch pattern to do it.